In May 2016, a student team from Hampstead University competed in the Grand Cooperative Driving Challenge. It was part of the iGame project in which the next steps are being taken in developing self-driving cars that communicate with each other. The competitors needed to solve two challenges, merging two rows of dense traffic and crossing at a busy T-junction. Head to head with nine other qualified international teams, Team Hamster put their skills and teamwork to the test. In the previous competition, Hamster University won silver. Could they do it again? The students are from the um, master program in uh, embedded and Int intelligent uh, systems. It's a very social event and um, a great experience uh, from many points of view for the students and for the PhD students and also for us. We have a micro auto box that is interfacing the car to the car's CAN bus. We had a router which interconnects the whole systems and then we had our high-level executor which is a, a laptop. From that laptop we do all the decisions and then we have a communication box which is called a Alexi board where we communicate with other vehicles. The human-machine interface was developed in Android by ourselves. In there we tried to develop a system that was simple for the driver to use but also showing the vital information of the scenarios that we were performing. The simulation is a vital part when you develop this kind of system because you can't make a run every time you want to test something in the real car. We got a chance to, to test the car in practice at the Asta Zero testing track uh, in Boros. We were able to test that we can actually cooperatively drive with other cars and other teams. So that was really, really helpful for us to think about how do we plan for the competition in final. We ran into a lot of obstacles. It was sometimes that we did something really wrong and the car itself locked us up inside. So we, did, we couldn't even get out of the car. So every time we made mistakes, we learned a lot and our system got more bug proof. Cooperating with our other teams uh, was actually uh, part of the judging during the competition. It was really friendly environment and it was really cooperative environment. That was where all the things that really count started happening. Uh, so you have to be cold-blooded. <laughs> the main risk was that develop a safe and secure system and always have a backup plan so if anything goes wrong, we can always turn back. We are always hoping that we will be the top three teams always. Yay! So the winner of the GDC 2016 is the team Drum and Sand. Winning this competition was uh, so cool. In a word, it was an awesome experience. The whole competition, it was really, really awesome. We won because the robustness of our system, but also the teamwork uh, that we could cooperate so well. Later on, of course, the results came in, and then it turned out that we did very well in all the aspects of the competition. Here at the university, we do research of in embedded and intelligent systems, as well as education. Uh, well, and clearly the competition was all about this. I would like to continue my professional life in research in autonomous vehicle areas. Winning the competition is a great opportunity because you can say that I've been in a real project with real cars and actually performed well. And that's really good for the future. The competition shows that cooperative driving is possible. 